I don't want any of us to come across to other people in a way that we are not heard. So we have to communicate in ways that can be heard. So let's talk about it by style. Um, by style, for action takers, here's what you can do to have your voice heard in a way that makes sense to others. Ask for other people's voices to join you. Make sure that you're asking for other people's voices to join you. And ultimately, slow down. We heard from some of the experts earlier saying, we're sometimes forced into decisions we're not ready to make. And a lot of times it has to do with the voices in the room. We want to make sure that as action takers, we're slowing our voice down. For influencers, we want to state when we're thinking out loud versus when we're actually being directive. For those of you that manage teams, this is one of the challenges for influencers. What they will do as an influencer is say, oh yeah, I'm dreaming about this and I'm thinking about this and I'm thinking about that. And their team walks away going, we're supposed to do all of these things. And what that person was doing, the influencer, was thinking out loud. So we need to be really clear and state, hey, this is something we need to act on versus this is something we're just talking about out loud. For influencers, tie ideas back to your vision and your mission. Make sure that things are concrete. Like, why am I talking about this? Why do I want us to focus on this? For our champions, one of the things that you can do to have your voice heard more effectively is intentionally speak up, whether you agree or not. Sometimes we think that silence is good. Like, hey, you you just understand that I agree with you or you understand that I disagree with you. We need champions in the room to speak up intentionally. Whether they agree or not, we need to hear your voice more often. The other thing that champions can do to have their voice heard is be candid and direct in their, in their uh, what they want versus actually asking questions. Candid and direct versus asking questions. Classic story. My mother-in-law, very much a champion. I, I love her to pieces, she's amazing. We were at a family gathering at one point and she said, walked in the kitchen and said, hey, does anybody want barbecue? And nobody responded initially. So we, for me, that's a clue, nobody wants barbecue. But she asked again, does anybody want barbecue? And three or four of us said, no, we're good, thank you, we're good. She asked the third time, does anyone want barbecue? And I thought, something's up here. What she was saying was, I want barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> what? How am I supposed to know that? Because I'm really candid, like I'm straightforward and out there. So sometimes champions, we need you just to tell us what you need. That's what we want from you and your voice. For our experts, one of the things that you can do to get your voice heard more effectively is differentiate between big picture and detail. Sometimes we get caught up in the gist, uh, uh, and not the gist, we get into the details when we should be thinking about the gist of the conversation. Um, and then the other thing is that's helpful for those of you who are experts, explain why you're asking asking. Why are you asking that process? I'm not questioning you in this process. I'm curious to know about this. If I know where you're coming from as an expert, I don't take it personally that you're asking a lot of questions. So those are a few skills on that front.